the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. What is the reason and what would be the result and impact on the countries throughout the world? To talk on this topic with us, we have Lieutenant General V.G. Khandare, the former military advisor to NSCS, former Director General Defense Intelligence Agency and former Deputy Chief of Integrated Defense Staff Handling Tri Services Intelligence. So, good evening. Good evening, Pankaj. So, first of all, I would like to ask you, what are the reasons for the conflict between Russia and Ukraine? Pankaj, the conflict, it has its roots uh, for quite some time. In fact, in 1991, after the USSR broke up, one country that was formed, which has the major share of the territory of erstwhile USSR is Russia. And the second country, which is also a large country, is Ukraine. Now, Russia is more interested in safeguarding its sovereignty and security. And Ukraine provides a lot of buffer to it. Russia has always been worried about the kind of advancement of NATO countries led by USA towards its borders. NATO has been moving steadily closer and closer to the Russian boundary. Now, on to its west, which is the major part of Europe. After Ukraine, there is Poland. And up to Poland, they have already got them as members of NATO. Ukraine is quite keen to join NATO, but Russia feels threatened. In fact, it terms the joining of Ukraine in NATO as an existential threat. The pictures that are coming, the news that we have read that Russian troops are pulling out. So that is what Russians are stating. But when you hear what the Americans and the United Kingdoms, they are saying, uh, there are diverse views. They say that uh, what is being said is not what is happening on ground. As per them, as per the satellite imagery, they do not see the kind of thinning out that is required, which would give a kind of assurance to Ukraine or to NATO members. So as of now, there is quite a fluid situation. But along with this, there are other inputs which must be taken very seriously. One is the allegation or a kind of a claim made by United States that the Russian cyber attacks or penetration has already reached the Ukrainian critical infrastructure. And there are influence operations which are going on at a large scale from the uh, Russian side. So one is the kinetic portion and second is the non-kinetic portion. Both seem to be quite tense at the moment. And which are the countries that are playing an important role to bring the situation under control. See, even in 2013-14, when the problem had started between the two countries, there was a kind of peace brokered by France and Germany. And even now, uh, recently, Germany has been playing a major role. The Chancellor has visited Moscow. He's had talks uh, with, the, uh, with President Putin. So there is a lot of activity which is being undertaken by countries from Europe because the European countries feel that if the war was to break out, the maximum impact would be felt on Europe. In what terms? Firstly, the kind of threat, the physical threat that would emerge. The second biggest problem is Europe is dependent to a large extent on energy from Russia. About 30% of uh, crude oil comes from Russia and about 35% of Europe's requirement of natural gas also comes from Russia. If you notice the kind of prices which have jumped up in Europe, uh, you will see what I am saying makes a lot of sense. So Europe is very concerned about its own economy as well as the safety. Has this conflict also affected the rise of price of crude oil? Yes, there has been a rise of crude oil and uh, if this is not resolved early, uh, there are going to be more problems which will come up and then uh, the economies not only in Europe but rest of the world also will be impacted. 
in fact most of the countries in europe are engaging with many other countries in terms of the economic engagement and if prices were to go up in europe then automatically the impact will be felt on rest of the world also and what is the likely impact on india uh, see the impact on india has to be seen not only from the economic viewpoint economic part is definitely important but there are other things also take for example there are about 18 to 20000 indian students who are in ukraine there is an advisory which has been issued by uh, the indian embassy there that uh, the indians in ukraine could leave temporarily because nobody is sure about the outcome of the present stress that is being faced by ukraine so that is a cause of worry in, in fact even the parliamentary panel today has expressed its concern the parliamentary panel on tourism and culture they have said that uh, the indian government needs to do something to uh, bring these indian diaspora safely back to india so there is a lot of concern here other than the economics it is the safety of the indians uh, the next issue which is related to geo strategy and geopolitics is while all this is happening how do we see china behaving uh, china and russia both are quite close in the past if you look at what had happened in the cuban missile crisis when uh, john f kennedy was there and the us was tied down in cuba that is the time when a lot of turmoil did take place elsewhere so whether this is a suitable point opportunity for china to indulge in more mischief we are not sure but that is where the indians both from the security of its people security of its sovereignty and the economic security has to be very vigilant thank you sir for sharing us this important information thank you so much so this was lieutenant general dwiji khandare the former military advisor to nscs this is pankaj kelkar in pune for india today